Friday the 21st of October, we race on the poly track at Fairview. There are eight races carded. Let's get straight into it, working alongside Paul Lafferty. And the bipod will begin in race number one. It's at 12.50. It's over 1,300 meters. Three old fillies take their place here in this maiden plate. At the time of recording, all eight go to post here left. And uh, just looking at it, to see Gavin Fenzel's got four runners, one, three, six, and eight. I think we can yeah, safely you mean discuss. Gavin Smith. Sorry? Not Gavin Fenzel. Gavin oh, Smith. yeah, Gavin, <laughs> Gavin I'm Smith. Gavin Fenzel. Yeah, yeah mommy. So Where am I? You're next to me. Okay, good. Gavin uh, Smith, one, yes. three, and eight look to be the principles from his yard? Yeah, I think so. I, I did, did like the way this Duke of Marmalade Philly improved, kind of blue. Yes. You know, ran just beaten last time. It played up. It was recalcitrant at the gate. And, and any uh, price to her. That's the key that worries me because isn't his first rider at the moment JP? Uh, Is that accurate? Or, or was he throwing a few bones out there? Because he's got Blink Kumalo on Aunt Liberty. Yes. And he's got uh, JP van der Merwe on my guru. Yeah, you know, JP's rides, rides for Gavin there, but that... He, does he spread them? Yeah, he does. You know, Gavin, I used to do the rides for Lyle when he used to ride there. And yes. He generally, uh, you know, just mixes and matches, you know. He yeah. just, it's, it's nothing kind of cast in stone there that, that you're on the right horse. But I would say that kind of blue who improved back from that break was a good run. Uh, this number one is actually debuting in the, in the province from yes. Cape Town. That yes. form could be good enough. And number three, Tufan, I think threatening to win as well. So he does hold the key, but the, the, the horse that could be the joker is number two. Yes, uh, Dreamscape. Yeah, because that, I mean, look at her form. She's really coming yeah. on nicely. Very, very good. The 1300 won't worry, uh, won't worry her, the visionaire. Cliffy Miller's also Ryan Munger. It's, it's been close up. It always seems to be in the scrum. It's got to have a chance. One, three, and eight uh, for us in the bipod. And I think number two will keep you interested as well. That is yeah. Dreamscape. But uh, Laugh Likes, number eight. I'll be in the corner of the Cape Town horse, number one, my guru. Okay, we're on to uh, race number two is the start of the place accumulator. And this is over 1,900 meters. And I think uh, this is going to be a banker for all your laugh. I know it looks to be competitive when you try to go through the field. But Graphene Error, Jal, Gavin Smith's runner, the first run in the province was encouraging. Very much so. I thought it had uh, good form, went down there, ran that uh, cracking race. And uh, I remember I thought it would win the Maidens down here. Yes. Paul had brought it down here to win uh, a couple of times. They ran some very good races. Some of the horses that's run again haven't done too badly. So I think major runner, major runner number two. Distance-wise, you don't see an issue, 1,900 metres. I think she's actually looking for it, Paul. Jackson, sure. Jetmaster, no doubt he'll get the trip. No doubt. Banker for us in the place accumulator, leg one of the balance, maybe numbers one, four, and 11 to consider for trifectas and quartets. That's We're right. done with uh, race number two. We're on to the start of the big one, the pick six. And uh, Laf, I'm hoping that you agree here uh, because I'll tell you the betting firstly, okay? And then you tell me if you agree with the fixed odds betting market. Crafty Heart is at seven to, 17 to 10. Our let's at 11 to 2, and then it is 7 to 1 and better the balance. I like Crafty Heart. So do I. So do I. Uh, Alet, you know, uh, has shown ability there, got that win. I remember you liked this last time yeah. I left. And it was a little one paced, I thought. But Crafty Heart, the master craftsman, Toro Link Stable, this is a very consistent horse. Always seems to put in a good effort, and uh, distance right up at Sally. I think uh, definitely the horse have, they have to beat, definitely. And, and Ryan seems to get on very well with her as well. He's won That's twice right. on her. Yes. And it, uh, I mean, you can clearly see that the, the course and distance. Crafty heart for me, the five-year-old grey mare. And in the pick six, can we just include one more horse? Take a chance here, two horses. I'm going to go with Arlet again. Arlet again. Proved done it there. I don't know if you found something else. No, I like your thinking here. Let's play it tight here in the pick six. First leg, we're going six and seven, a banker in the PA, number six, Crafty. On to race number four, and this is over 1,900 meters. It's a merit rated 74 handicap. And I'll ask left to pronounce the runner that I like, which is number one, Paul. Ushaya. Ushaya. Yeah, Ushaya means to hit. Yeah. Uh, Ushaya, the Pomodoro, I think, uh, won a good race last time. 
And uh, I think it's got a big chance again. You if you know. go through some of his previous Gauteng form, Paul, you'll see that the horse stayed 2,400 meters when with Sean Terry. So distance, no issue at all. No issue at all. I, th I think this horse is doing well. It's come down to the province. It's run well. Had close beaten second. It's had a win. And uh, the win was pretty convincing. With the blinkers. Yeah. And there, there's the key. So I, I think Ushaya is the horse to beat and possibly add one more, Dees. Uh, no, I think we're going to... I said no, but then I agree with you. Are you looking at nine? Yes, yes. Just I'm looking at it. It's uh, a top yard coming in, great form. And uh, this, this could make a race of it uh, with the 54 in the back. It's getting seven kilos. And I think that is one I would throw in as well, Dees. I think let's go with Laf here. Let's go with Laf. We played it tight the first leg. We had two horses. Uh, the it two doesn't get easier later, these. I think that's where we can uh, then increase the, yeah, that, that permit and, and, yes. and you know, multiply it out. So we're going two horses in the pick six for GTV. One, Ushaya, and nine, which is uh, Jaspero, and uh, the banker in the place accumulator, number one. Ushaya, race number four. On to the fifth race now. This is over 1,300 meters. It's a classified stakes for fillies and mares. And this looks to be tough. But I've tried to narrow the PA numbers down, Paul. And uh, in numerical order, two, three, and ten. Yeah, I, uh, uh, I think uh, two really consistent horse. Always in there getting a blow and Ryan Munger teaming up with Tora Lang again. Big choice. Then you go to the, the dynasty, dynasty filly, Panzanella, mm. and uh, Joan Nell. He, uh, he, he seems to throw in a close up and just off them, and a close up and a just off them. So I, I've got a chance, but uh, I wouldn't be backing it. Yes. And then your number 10, I, uh, uh, South Wester, the Irish shorts, beautifully bred, Hreferi. You've got to like this horse a lot too. It's getting a little bit of pull and waste from the other two I mentioned. And uh, I think uh, this horse will run very well. Yeah, I have to agree. Number two, Chloris, just a draw to overcome. Uh, horse number three, Panzanella, debuting in the province. I think the Cape Town form could be good enough to see this horse competitive. Agree with Paul there. Like the look of 10 on that post, uh, on that run last time out as well. And... Uh, I think those numbers we should be safe. If we so double if I, up, it'll be a bonus. If, if I'm right in saying this, Dees, is Goddess of Light 4 to 1? Goddess of Light, which is horse number? Number 8. Horse number 8 is, uh, no, it's a big price, 25 big to price. 1. So I've written down the wrong bit. Okay, now let's go the ones we picked, these. 2, 3, and 10 for the place accumulator. I think the pick 6, 2, 3, and 10. The pick 6, I'll consider including numbers 4, 5, and seven, maybe play around those numbers. Yeah, Two, four, it's, it's getting tougher. Six horses there for the pick six. On to race number six. It's over fifteen hundred meters, and now in this leg, um, I've taken a bold stance here. I'm going five horses in the pick six ball. I'm going to give you my numbers. Okay. And then in the PA, I've gone three horses. All the, right. Okay. The pick six, in numerical order: two, five, six, seven, twelve. Two, five, six, seven, twelve. Yes. And then in the PA, I'm going five, six, and seven. Uh, Louis Kortler uh, on number five. My boy Risi won very well last time out. Uh, you know, I like the way that uh, he got up short hits to the line, but just a very good win. Very much so. And then uh, number seven, Flinders Range. Where's he, Yanni? He's there, always in a down there. there for. Finished yes. fourth uh, on the 18th of October behind Rose of Bayou under a length. So there is a form Form's update. Form's good. Form's good, Dees. Must go. And so I agree with you. For me, PA is 5, 6, 7. Very much so. And the numbers 2 and 12, Bold Strike. And uh, this horse, number 12, Silver Celebrity. Also form update. Two and a half lengths. Same race behind Rose of Bayou. Well, we're on to the seventh race now. And this is the racing... Uh, it is the Nelson Mandela Bay Racing Poly Challenge. And the first two legs, 1,200, 1,400 meters. This one over 1,600 meters. Now, a horse that's been a touch unlucky... In the first two legs, Paul, a number seven green line to heaven. He could have been on something big here, but he's just failed in the first two legs. Any reason why Wayne Agrella is not riding it? Yes, Wayne Agrella, I don't know, he's riding, but I know that Wayne, I read somewhere that Wayne's joining the riding academy. Uh, not, race. Rocky, not Rocky. Uh, it's not Rocky, is it Wayne or Rocky? I heard Rocky, so maybe is it oh, Those two you know, boys, but one's much plumper than the others. How can I get that wrong? <laughs> 
Is it rocky, huh? Oh, d- yes, I'm just looking. Wayne Agrilla has written this horse so many times. Its form's very strong. Yes. He hasn't got a ride. And I thought to myself, Gareth Wright's come in, so they've got Gareth in its place. And I thought, sure, uh, is, is there an issue you might know about? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay, I don't. It's, a, it's a race that you need a lot of us. And Agrilla's got rides in the day, so interesting. But I agree, it's got to go in, knocking on the door. Number seven, green light to heaven. Consistency could be rewarded, may get luckier, but there are, there's quality here, Paul. Yeah. You know, I'm just looking at the balance of the runners. For the place accumulates, I'm going to suggest a seven, one and five. Safari Blue, number five, and uh, uh, number one, Richard Faree's mount. Yes, let's go. And I was just wondering why it ran so poorly last time. Form before there was that. So it didn't have a last run we up there. It's got to carry the, the, the pudding because it's earned it. Yeah, but right. uh, whatever chance, you know, then Lou in court was right. I think for uh, Sharon Cotson, Cat Daddy, that's got to have a chance. Yeah, I think all the best to the guys it's, here. It's a tough race, Dee. Very tough. Quality here. Quality yeah. pools. And poly yeah. specialists. I think if you want to try and narrow it down, try to do so, get through the minimum spend. Place accumulator, one, five, and seven. But I like the look of seven. I'm hoping that he could be rewarded. It's a consistent horse there. Yes. And uh, horse race number eight now closing it off over 1,000 meters. Very tough. This is the race where we've played it tight in the beginning of the pick six. If we survive, they're coming through with two horses in the first two legs. Then it's affordable to play wide here. But the place accumulator, Paul, I'm going five, six, and seven. If I have to choose between the three, I'm going to lead with the value here. Number six, state of mind. Yeah, yeah, a very good run last time out. And, uh... I think it, I think it's certainly got a chance. It was beaten a length after getting left, mm. and uh, it must be a, must be a runner. I thought uh, Alan Creer for Richard Ferry team up with Travel Master. Yes, I wouldn't leave the side of anything. That's at seven to two, Paul. Is that at seven to two? Okay, yeah. and uh, the runner up to Soweto Rose Notorix. We've got. Uh, the new Academy Master, Wayne Agrella, riding yeah, it. So it is rocky, 100%. I believe so, but listen, yeah. uh, it's just what I've heard. Yeah, I read the, the name uh, yes. Agrella, and I know that Rocky is with Mike De Haas, or he's doing That's something right, behind the scenes. That's pre-training. Yeah. yeah, 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 so I don't know. Yeah. But whichever one of the Agrellas it is, all the best, uh, That's right. one of the boys there. If you're going in your peers here, D's, you I, I, think we'll, I think we'll get through. You'll get through with five, six, seven. Five, six, and seven. And then again, as wide as the budget will allow yeah. for the pick six as well. So, guys, all the best if you're playing in Cabeja on Friday, the 21st of October. Go into my shortlist and I'll have a look at it. It's on screen. Yep, that is it. Race two, number two, Graphene Aerogel. Both Left and myself agree that in the second race, this will be good enough to finish in the yeah, top that was one three. As well, Dees. You like that. I know you yeah, like that yeah. as well. Uh, and uh, we're not concerned over the distance as well there. No. Race three, Crafty Heart. And again, you it's good. You like, you like this as well, Paul, because... Dees, Dees, you picked the same three as me. Okay. I mean, that is it. If there ever was an omen that these three horses could be yeah. a good place or a win treble... You know, I don't mind taking those place trebles. Those place trebles you throw them in. You're getting, it, it all uh, multiplies up. It multiplies up quickly. You're getting six to ten in the place. It suddenly jumps your better. But these, one last question before we finish. Yes. Could just remind the, 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 the punters where that photo was taken. That photo was taken recently, Paul. But I don't know where. But you can see it's a gallop on yes, my, yeah, that, on on my shirt. shirt. So it's very recent. And you look chuffed. Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always look chuffed. And then when they were like Ushasa, uh, Usha, yeah, sorry. Usha, I've got the same numbers, Dees. Oh, exactly the same, Lafferty and I. We are in with all those three horses for the place of Q-Nate. It's been an absolute pleasure, Paul. Thank and you. Uh, all the best again to all the punters. Thanks to the GTV team, to Paul Lafferty and uh, myself, Dees Diner. Have a blast. Find all the winners. And Kabeka Polytrack on a Friday, the 21st of October. Until we meet again, you take care. Salani Gaste.